Hey guys, Pitmaster Secrets Podcast is back. Season three, it's been a long wait. Anyway, I decided to start publishing again without all the fancy entourage of what I used to do. So stay tuned. We're going to get right into season three, episode one. Hey guys, Frank Cox here. I'm sure that, uh, I don't know if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to it on, uh, uh, on the old uh, iTunes or whatever it is, but uh, anyway, it's been a while since we did a Pitmaster Secrets podcast. Um, truth be told, I wound up with COVID and pneumonia and boy, I tell you, it about kicked my rear. Um, a lot has changed. Uh, world world all the way around you know with uh, the world and everything um due to covid and stuff like that and uh anyway i'm getting anxious and i'm wanting to get back out and, and start doing some build related stuff again um you'll probably notice that i'm a little more active with the smoker plan stuff again and a little more active on youtube and uh starting to do some uh things on the forum again so uh anyway just to get you up to date um, I am right now in my truck, and uh, what is today? I don't even know. June tenth, I think, two thousand twenty twenty, or twenty twenty one. Sorry, and um, I'm on my way to pick up some meat at uh, Salem Butcher Shop because I have a catering gig to cook this weekend. Um, a funny thing is, is that uh, recently it was brought to my attention that I misidentified some wood that I was cooking with. And that's what today's episode is all about. Is that ash? That's kind of what the, what the episode's about. So I have a thing called Pitmaster U where you can go on and you can do, um, you can take all kinds of barbecue courses and stuff like that. And uh, it was winter when I filmed that and we were doing tree identification and uh, I had a tree that I cut down that had some problems with it. And I was like, well, let's just go ahead and cut this thing down here. I'm not sure, but I think it was ash. I have to go back and look at it. I smoked it all, it tasted good. But I wanted to bring up that uh, I found an app that'll be very useful for you called Picture This. Um, it's, an I, uh, it's an iPhone app. What Picture This is, is a database of every kind of plant life you can think of that might be growing at your at your place on your farm um, out on acreage at your grandparents place out in the woods wherever you're at um, you can literally use this app to take a picture of whatever it is that you're looking at and it scans the picture and identifies what the plant is i have discovered that uh, ash and mockernut hickory look very 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 similar unless you have leaves it's really hard to tell the difference so i've been cooking with ash <laughs> on some of my videos and part of messing up is embracing it whenever you do it you know like just talk about it just help other people that might have a similar situation so let's talk about hickory real quick now here's what really happened we was we was cooking at the shop here i don't know three weeks ago or so and forrester was there and i was unloading wood out of the back of my truck and he said why are you cooking with ash i was like that ain't ash that's mockernut dude and he's like dude i'm a forester that's ash and wait the way i he he told me is that the ash borer beetle when you peel the bark back the ash borer beetle goes horizontal across the wood so it goes around the wood it eats like this in circles around the tree under the bark when you uh, peel the bark back if there's nothing going horizontal and everything's going vertical because there's always all kinds of boring things that get underneath the trees and kill them if, if everything's going vertical and it's really tiny or something like that that's some other kind of boring beetle but ash borers are really really wide like quarter inch wide beetle trails that go through under the bark and uh you know that's that's a great way to be able to tell right away in the winter time if the wood that you think is hickory is actually uh ash 
<laughs> so um, I've made quite a few mistakes in my life, but that's the dumbest one I've ever put on film. Um, anyway, so I'll be updating that episode with some stuff on Pitmaster U, hopefully this summer. Um, it's going to take me a lot of time because those are highly well-produced videos. And uh, so be advised. I mean, the bark, what I show you in the video is that the bark literally does crisscross each other. It, it like intersects the trails on the bark and they're connected. But the thing is, is that mocker nut bark is much more coarse. The real thin bark is uh, like the, the bark that crisscrosses like that. Uh, that's ash. It's not mocker nut. So anyway, that's a bonehead thing I did right before I caught COVID um, was that. Um, I tried to do some live cooking classes on Pitmaster U. I did a chicken one and the technology didn't work real well. Um, I was able to record everything and put it up after the fact. Um, currently, I'm looking for people to help as far as instructors for classes because I don't want to teach every single class. I want you to get a mix of ideas and t tips and tricks from all kinds of pitmasters everywhere. Um, if that's something that interests you and uh, you have a social media following of sorts, hop on board. Let's talk. Let's see what it takes to get you to do a course for me. Um, anyway, we can talk about the specifics of that if you're interested. Um, smoker Builder Manufacturing. Let's talk about that for just a minute. If you go to the Smoker Builder MFG website, you'll notice that there's only one page to the website now. Um, there's only one page there. You'll see my smart, smiling, pearly, they're not quite white. Anyway, my teeth on there, and I'm talking to you about a custom-built smoker. So Smoker Builder Manufacturing is focusing on primarily custom-built smokers. Uh, mostly offsets. They still do some drums. They still do some patio models, but the primary focus of Smoker Builder Manufacturing is the giant, big, uh, you know, propane tank offset smokers and reverse flows. Why is that? Well, steel's expensive. I'm telling you, steel has went 400% as of today over the last six months. It's increased 400% on the wholesale side. We're not even talking about retail. So uh, what happened is, is that those little parts and stuff like that were eating us alive. It's really hard to continue to manufacture parts like that at scale, the quality that we were doing. So will we bring parts back at some point? I don't know. I, I, I wish I could predict the future, but I can't. Um, you know, all we can do is speculate on, on the price of steel and what's going to happen in the market. Demand is really high for everything you want to buy. Supply is really low. It doesn't matter if you're looking at, at this time, it's like uh, anything with uh, semiconductors, uh, steel. Um, I don't know. There's so many shortages going on. There are even, you know, lumber, all kinds of crazy stuff. And, uh, so it's, it's just really hard to tell what's gonna happen with the economy and stuff like that right now. Who knows who the hell or what the hell's to blame. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it, just press on, right? Uh, what am I gonna talk about on the Pitmaster Secrets show now? So I tell you, my passion is uh, barbecue. I like everything barbecue. So I'm gonna talk about everything barbecue. I'm gonna talk about whatever hits my mind. I might tell you I messed up and said something like I did today. Um, I might uh, talk about food. I might talk about building cookers. Um, I might interview somebody. Who knows what's in store for season three? I haven't really thought it through too well. Um, but uh, I'm excited for it. I like, I like living light and uh, doing whatever I feel like doing whenever I feel like doing it. So anyway, I encourage you to follow along, participate, uh, share this episode, stuff like that. Um, I'm excited for the future. Um, things I'll probably talk about are, let's go like this. Let's just say I'm going to talk about pit mastery um, in general from cooking and, uh, you know, cleaning up your pits, uh, fire management, stuff like that. I'm going to talk about welding and fabrication related to building cookers. 
and uh, all kinds of outdoor cookware, live fire. I'm, I'm starting to really get into that. Maybe some cast iron stuff. Um, I'm going to interview famous pit masters via Zoom calls. Uh, let's say like one of the old boys here I'm wanting to interview pretty quick is Matt Growark. Um, good friend of mine. Uh, Growark Boys Barbecue. You can follow him on TikTok, Instagram, and all that there good old stuff. He'll be coming up in the coming weeks. Um, who knows? If you got somebody else you want me to interview, hit me in the comments on uh, Instagram or YouTube or wherever you're watching this. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about is the history of Smoker Builder and like what we've been doing over the last 10 years and, and uh, what you can do now. So um, anyway, I appreciate you. I appreciate uh, just uh, how you've been interested in the Pitmaster Secrets show all these years. And uh, let's keep it going with season three. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.